Hermes International is a French company, 63% controlled by the Dumas Hermes family. Yeah, so now we're talking about a French luxury goods company that was established in 1837 by a French family, and that is the ones that still control the company. We're talking here principally leather goods and then a whole bunch of clothing, scarves, people will be familiar with, and other sorts of bits and pieces. And we're looking at the market cap now, so let's move on to that. We're sitting with a market cap of 33.1 billion euros, a PE of 35.4, and a dividend yield of 0.9%. Let's get your thoughts yeah. on this one. So you don't have any more props, no, do you? Unfortunately, <laughs> a nice, not. A nice scarf. <laughs> no, it's too hard to enjoy work for that. Luckily, so. But when you look at the company, you know it's very French institutional. They produce all the products, um, all mainly in France, and and they say no mass production, yeah. no sort of uh, production lines. That each product is actually started and finished by the same person. So. That product mm. will be made from the start until the end by mm. the same person, which is sort of a niche. And then when you look at the consumers actually picking up these products, a large part of them are French. So um, around 20, I think between 20 and 25 percent of the consumers that buy from from Hermes is actually French. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's also sort of a niche. They have been um, moving into China and to into markets where obviously people want to buy these sort of luxury items. But um, yeah, not as hard hit as as the rest. Mm. Yeah, look, I mean that atelier is where you know mm. each bag is basically crafted by a single little Frenchman in <laughs> some place, you know, with his old eyes cobbling away, making the leather and selecting the best skins and stitching it together invisibly and in the internals and all that. That is part of the appeal for those kind of items. The price is just, they can just make it up basically. So the yeah. margins are very high and yeah. everybody knows they're getting an exclusive item. The company itself though is controlled by a family and we know mm -hmm. that that is sometimes a bit of an oddity because then the you know, who knows what might happen. The liquidity issue. So what are we, I mean do we have a liquidity problem? And they now? may, not particularly, I mean that you see there There's the still significant average float. volume 56,000 shares. Again this is listed in France, that will be where it's core shareholder base is that's all good and well pays a solid dividend probably to pay the family so they can all have spending money yeah i don't know there's a lot to like why not hot or not yeah i'm hot in it Paul, hot or not i don't really know anything about the company <laughs> last time we talked about this somebody sent me a message saying that i was totally misunderstanding the appeal of the bags versus the scarves and <laughs> so on. you tend to get those messages as well when you talk about gold stocks yeah but anyway this one i mean it looks okay i'm gonna go with not hot now on account of how it's done well mm -hmm. and I prefer some of the others. And